I'm going to show you a very simple modeling trick for bending objects in Blender in a non-destructive way to preserve the topology on your mesh. This topic went absolutely crazy on Instagram. Here's what you have to do. We have this Bitcoin model right here. It's very high poly. It's impossible to bend this without completely messing up the geometry. There's no way that you can undo this if you bend it manually. First of all, we're going to place the 3D cursor on this coin. To be more specific, we have to place the 3D cursor on a bottom part of this coin. And then while the 3D cursor is placed there, go to Shift A, add a lattice. You have to scale this lattice down so it's just slightly bigger than the object. Then go over here to the side, to the object data properties. Increase the U and the V resolution. Something like 5x5 five five or 6x6 six six will do it. Reduce the W resolution to 1. And now we just have a two-dimensional grid below this coin. Select a coin, select a lattice, control P, parent the object but keep the transform. Now the object is parented to the lattice. So if we move the lattice, the coin follows. Select a coin, add modifier, lattice, and use this eyedropper to target this grid which we just created. Now you can select the grid, press tab to go to edit mode, and when you move the vertices of this grid, the coin is going to be reshaped accordingly. If you use a lower resolution, then the bending is going to be a lot more smooth. Anyway, don't fuck this up too much yet. Select the lattice, activate this magnet shit up here, switch to face project, and check align rotation to target, and project individual elements. Now when you press G to move this grid, it's always going to take the rotation of the normal line of the face right below it. So it's kind of like placing a magnet onto a curved surface. It's always going to copy the rotation of the surface below wherever you place it. Now the only thing we have to do is bend the lattice according to the surface below. Luckily, you can use a shrink wrap modifier for the lattice. Select the lattice, add a shrink wrap modifier, set the wrap method to target normal project, use the eyedropper to target whatever surface you want this to bend according to. And now when you move this coin, it's always going to take the rotation of the surface below and it's also going to bend according to the shape of the surface. Sometimes if you find a really tight part, it's going to get a little bit messy. But in general, this is going to look beautiful on any surface that you put it on. If you want to, now you can select this coin, apply the lattice modifier with control A, and now this is permanently applied to the mesh. Now you can do something else with this if you want to. But be careful when you do this because you're not going to be able to undo this once you've done a few more actions. So I would recommend that you duplicate this and place it somewhere else before you apply any modifiers. Like the damn video, let me know what you want to see next, and I'll see you in the next one.